Hey guys, now we want to look at question 6b. Alright, so question 6b. So we looked at 6a just a moment ago, and our result was f of z, which is equal to sine of z squared, is equal to the power series from n equals 0 to infinity, um, negative 1 to the power of n, z to the power of 4n plus 2, on 2n plus 1 factorial. Okay, instead of doing the same thing for cos z squared, which we could easily do, what I want to show you is I want to get cos z squared from this thing. So let's take the derivative with respect to z of sine z squared. And what do I get? Well, I've got this chain rule here, so I get 2z, the derivative of sine z squared, which is cosine of z squared. So therefore, cosine of z squared is equal to 1 on 2z times the derivative of sine z squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sine z squared, take the derivative of that and divide by 1 on 2z and see what happens. Alright, so instead of approaching question B in the exact same way as we approach question A, which you could easily replicate using the known power series for cosine of z, which is on your formula sheet. We want to approach it in a bit of a different way. d d z of sine z squared, and uh, sorry, cos z squared is equal to 1 on 2z times the derivative of sine z squared. So the first thing is let's take the derivative of sine z squared. And that's, oop, that's equal to the derivative of this power series over here, which is n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, z to the 4n plus 2 on 2n plus 1 factorial. Okay, so if I take the derivative, there's only z polynomial here, so the 4n plus 2 will come out the front and I'll subtract 1 from the power. So it's n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n stays the same. I get a 4n plus 2 here times z to the 4n plus 1 because I subtract 1 from the power on 2n plus 1 is just a constant factorial is just a constant so that stays the same okay I haven't quite finished though I need to uh, multiply this thing by 1 on 2z so therefore 1 on 2z d dz sine z squared is equal to 1 on 2z of this power series to infinity. I'll just write it out again. z to the, oops, missed out on the 4n plus 2 there. z to the 4n plus 1 on 2n plus 1 factorial. Okay, so what happens here? The half I'll leave out the front. That's fine. n equals 0 to infinity. Negative 1 to the n remains unchanged. The 4n plus 2 also remains unchanged. But the z to the 4n plus 1 is now getting divided by z, so I have to subtract 1 off this. So I get z to the 4n on 2n plus 1 factorial. Okay, and that is the solution. That is equal to what? To cos z squared and it's valid for all of z. So mod z minus 0 because that's the point we're expanding about less than infinity. The radius of convergence is entire. Okay so that's another way to approach cos z squared and I also encourage you to do it the same way we did for f of z sine z squared in the previous video and verify your answer.